see then for our start today's RPCS3 and RPCSN setup guide. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at playing games online today with RPCS3. So if you're brand new to RPCS3, check out the main setup guide and that'll get you up and running. However, today we're looking at getting you online with rpcn so what we're going to be needing for this is the latest version of rpcs3 if we just install that like i say if you don't know what you're doing with this i'll drop a link to my rpcs3 setup guide so you can get up and running with this first what we're going to do then is obviously we're going to need a game. Now, if we take a look at compatibility list for which games are supported with this, again, I'll leave a link in my description so you can see which games are compatible with RPCN. What we're going to do first of all is just to make sure it's at the right version. So Tekken 6, in my example for this video, is it the update version which is required. So the first thing we're going to need to do is sign up with RPCN. So we're going to do this by going up to configuration and we're going to go down to RPCN. If we just go on that and first of all we're going to go to account. Now we're going to firstly make sure under server official RPCN server is selected. This is the one that we need just here. We're then going to go down to create account and we're going to add a username. Now you can type anything in here. I'm going to just type in just Jamie just for an example for this I'm then gonna go to OK and we're then gonna enter a password in hey okay, next thing we're going to do is press OK and we're next up going to need to enter an email address and once you're done with that just press OK and you are about to create an account with and make sure this is all correct and press yes Okay, so finally, we're going to need to check email address. RPCN would have sent you an email at this point with a token in it. All we're going to do is just paste in that token here and press OK. We're then going to go to test account just to make sure everything is OK. And in my case, mine is fine. So your account is valid. We're going to press OK. Okay, so that's our RPCN account set up. What we're going to do next then is configure Tekken 6. What we're going to do is just right click on this one, create custom configuration from global settings, and we're gonna go over to the network tab. And under network status, we're gonna make sure this one is actually selected as connected. And on the right hand side just there, under PSN configuration, PSN status, we're going to make sure this one is selected as RPCN. And on the left hand side just there, we're just going to make sure that the DNS is actually set to 8.8.8. In my case, this is done by default. Okay, so once we've done all of this, we're then going to go down to save custom configuration. And if we open up the game and just make sure this is being opened with custom configuration because we've just edited this. Okay, so we got Tekken up and running. So what we're going to do is first we'll just go down to online mode. And as we can see just here, online mode is working just fine. So what we're going to do is go to rank match. Okay, and if I then go to start match just select a character now depending on the game you're playing and depending how many people's obviously using rpcs3 as for me recording this video i'm not getting much luck connecting with anyone else so that could literally just be down to my part of the world and who else is up playing specifically tekken 6 at this time but as we can see the online mode is working just fine here if we go down to player match custom match as we can see, all the online functionality is, is working just fine. And here we go, under session list, we do have a couple of users just here. As we can see just here, under this particular user, a battle is now in progress. The score is currently 2 to 1. Please wait until it ends. So we're just going to wait for this one to end. And unfortunately, the connection to the host has been lost. But as we can see, everything's working fine just there. Now, let me just give you a little bit of troubleshooting. If we close out of this, 
what we're going to do is go back onto the game right click on the game that you want to connect change custom configuration if we go back to network if you do get any problems connecting then just make sure enable up np is checked just so there's a white dot on that just remember to go to apply and save custom configuration for that now remember if you're using a vpn it's very unlikely rpcn is actually going to connect so just make sure maybe that your vpn is actually disabled for this and for another troubleshooting tip just make sure enable port forwarding on 3658 on your router is enabled and finally, just make sure that RPCS3 is allowed access through your firewall if you happen to be using one. And that's it for today's RPCS3 and RPCN setup. God, just remember, this is a fairly new implementation into the emulator itself. So don't expect miracles. But just like RPCS3 itself, it's always making improvements and it's almost daily we get new updates. It's a fantastic emulator and by far one of my favorite emulators. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel just jamie that means you'll get notified every time i release a new setup guide and it also helps out my channel too and just remember if you are new to rpcs3 i'll leave pinned in my comments section the main setup guides for this anyways join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro